this is Jody from Puppy Winkle, and this is my latest page in my pop-up nature journal. It has two mechanisms. It has this circle of life about the monarch, and it has this big monarch pop-up. And they are both so easy. So if you ever wanted to try pop-ups, these are the mechanisms to try. Today I'm going to show you how I made this and next week I'm going to show you how I made this and then the week after that I'm going to talk about collage and how I do it and just a lot of tips I've learned. So stay tuned for all that fun. To make this pop-up, I used a greeting card that someone had sent me. It's, you know, as thin as a greeting card. It's not very thick, but it, it still works. It still folds down like it should. And you could use a page out of a magazine, a, a page out of a nature book. I, if you do use a, a book page, I would definitely back some cardboard on it. You know, glue it to a piece of cardboard. So it has, you know, it has some stu substance. It's not going to break. And so this is how I make it. So the pop-up butterfly is very similar to the mechanism I used to make this pop-up hummingbird. And actually it's even easier because this had the main mechanism and then three extra pieces. And the butterfly just has the main mechanism. So it's it's a way simpler process than this one. So if that one was a little intimidating, then this would be a good one to start with. So what you need is whatever you're gonna pop up. This was a card. Um, it's pretty thin. So I'm, it, it's thinner. I would say it's even thinner than one layer of, of thick card stuff. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. Um, and then two other pieces. This is about, and again, the, the, the length and width hardly matter. Um, this is about four and a quarter by two, and this is about four and a half by one inch. And as always with a pop-up, and this is cardstock, as always with a pop-up, you want to fold and fold. If you have a bone folder, crease it real well. Here are my two pieces. I've folded this one. I folded them both in half this way and creased them really good. And then this one in addition, then I opened it up and I folded it down about a half inch, at least a half inch. And these, these, um, these sizes are not absolutely critical. They, of course, they're going to depend on what what you're opening up to show and also even within that there's variation so you just kind of figure out what works but this is a good these are good sizes to start with so we're going to make it to look like this we have the bottom part and when it closes it makes that other part the pop-up part go down So you see that this is pointed down and that's the way it folds. So this is going to be at the top of our page and that's how we want it. We want it to fold down. We don't want it to fold up because then it goes above, it goes above the top of the book. So like this, you don't want it to fold up and then be sticking out over the top. You want it to fold down. And so you know which way it's going to go because it points that way. That is pointing down. So we're going to glue it like that, but first we've got to clip it. This one's ready as it is. That's the base. And this one needs to get clipped. So we're going to make a little a little house. Here's the here's the half inch fold, and we're just going to clip here 
from the fold to the edge and here from the fold to the edge and make a little house. That way when we open it up, these pieces aren't in the way. And so it can, it, you can make it point. And so then we're just going to glue that pointing down. And I'm going to put these little flaps in the back so they're not sticking out under, under the butterfly. The butterfly is going to go here. And so just to hide them in the back a little bit, we're going to glue it like that. So we're going to get some good strong glue, permanent glue. And we're going to glue it, hmm, I think I want, let's see, I'll put it like this so the butterfly covers up that writing. So we're going to go like this. We're going to put the glue here. And you go all the way to the edge of the fold. And you put it on your page. So the, so the point is in line with the fold. So this fold, the fold of this page is in line with the fold of that page. And I only glued one side. And once that's good and glued, which is not quite yet, <laughs> then you're going to do the same here. You're going to glue here. all the way to the edge and then just close this up and that'll put it right where it needs to go. So here it is all glued and now all we need to do is put a little glue on our item on the places it's going to hit, so right around here, and I had to fold it a little. I had to fold it right down the center so it goes along with the fold, and so that's what I'm going to do. Here's my butterfly attached to the mechanism. I glued it, I glued it to this part. So there's our little feet attached to the bottom. And when it closes, it goes down. And when it opens, it comes up. And now I have put glue all on this bottom part, this base here, the one inch one. And I'm just going to put it in the book. Again, aligning the crease in the center, the crease in the center of the mechanism with the crease in the book. I'm putting it as close to the top as I, as I can get it. That's over that page. Here we go. And it's not really dry yet but I can never wait to see if it works. And the other thing about doing it early is if it doesn't work, you can adjust it. <laughs> so yeah. Ta-da! It does. Excellent. All right. So that's a real simple mechanism, just two pieces and then whatever it is you want to pop up folded in half. Yeah, yes. <laughs>